Nityanandam. So today is 10th December and one after the other we are having a series of victory. On 8th December, see let me give you a recap. On 7th December there was a big judgment in our favor from the Supreme Court of India. On 8th December 2017 we had a major victory in US court. Samaya TV chief reporter Ranganath Bharadwaj he got fined 5 million US dollars which is roughly rupees 30 crore so it's not a joke the kind of money they are getting fined so in this video I'll share what exactly he did why he got fined such a huge amount so I have not seen the original judgment because I have a mobile with my mobile in my mobile the original judgment is not very clear I need a bigger screen but from what I know that uh, because I have worked on the compilation of uh, certain aspects of this Vinay Bharadwaj a child rapist he was um, he raped one of the disciples child Swamiji's disciples child he raped when the girl was like um, very Th small 13 13 years yeah and uh, after that he put a false case on Swamiji saying that Swamiji has raped Vinay Bharadwaj which is like ridiculous just in order to blackmail and escape somehow you know the whole case was not only squashed Vinay Bharadwaj he had to pay the fine almost half a million dollars which is rupees 3 crores and he had to also pay the attorney fee means the fees of the lawyers who fought for Paramahansa Nityananda he had to pay them also and even this was not enough because he kept on trying to escape by escalating the case from one court to the other court to the higher court to the supreme court the whole judicial system was so fed up of Vinay Bharadwaj they actually passed a written in the written order they said that this is a complete abuse of the legal system of United States of America by this child rapist Vinay Bharadwaj and they were like completely angry about this they in fact deported him they not only fined him they deported him this same Vinay Bharadwaj very recently I think um, October 16th okay I'll, I don't remember the date very clearly October 16 2017 for now I'll just leave it at that he got fined 2.75 crores in India so this same Vinay Bharadwaj I don't know if they are relatives I hope they are not the chief reporter Ranganath Bharadwaj of Channel. Channel. Samaya TV so I hope you know in the background we can flash Samaya 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 10,000 times like how they do for anything when channels such as Samaya TV report any court proceedings they just twist and make it completely opposite of what it actually is and uh, see actually we don't do anything great we just sit and quietly watch for literally we sit we were sitting and watching for seven years these guys are continuously attacking, 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 giving us so much ammunition. We just go and tell the court, and the court is like, oh my god, these guys need to be put behind bars. See, the court had very clearly told Vinay Bharadwaj is a child rapist. He's the worst and the worst and the worst and the worst kind of person, human, imaginable. Not only the district court, not only the high court or superior court even the highest of the highest supreme court wherever he took the case they were like completely fed up of him whole united states judicial system was fed up of Vinay Bharadwaj that how dare he file an appeal complete disregard of the judicial system he is a rapist he is a child rapist he needs to go to jail now indian channels like Samaya TV and Vinay uh, this uh, Ranganatha Bharadwaj they are hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of news I, I can say actually years of news not even hours years of news I am sh quite sure if you put these videos one after the other they might as well go more than a year 
just one channel samaya's videos which are against paramahansa nitananda swami ji which are attacking him if you um, play them one after the other it will surely be more than one year i can challenge anybody can take that challenge and can actually go to youtube and see all their videos how, what all they have said so the channels samaya tv and this um, uh, ranganath bharadwaj they used to run episodes after episode making a hero out of vinay bharadwaj just because they wanted very strongly to defame swami ji and put a bad name on swami ji they made a hero out of vinay bharadwaj otherwise who cares he is in us and this is like karnataka there is absolutely no relation why would somebody bring a character from us and run news name, after news name same so they were running news after news about vinay bharadwaj and the main spokesperson for samaya tv was raganath bharadwaj <laughs> maybe he had some uh, affinity or some affection that okay he shares the same name and maybe they share the character also one is a prostitute and one is a rapist you know in hindi there's a saying chor chor mosare bhai means any anyway, so see the if you watch those news clips it's really i don't know if you are connect if you you watch them with a little bit humanistic consideration you will be shocked to see how cheap these people are to make a hero out of a child rapist just imagine anybody in your family getting raped as a child and then the news channels from whom you expect to uh, present the truth or at least raise national issues on their channels are actually making heroes out of rapists so that is one part even you can have an opinion and because of your opinion you are running a news or something that might be there but this was contempt of court multiple courts had made this statement that vinay bharadwaj is a rapist whereas these people are internationally broadcasting that no he is innocent he is innocent he is innocent and he is a hero is a hero is a hero so it is completely a direct attack on the courts of us so that is why they got that big fine so our indian media channels are so arrogant so arrogant so arrogant they can challenge any court of law shamelessly there have been cases on news channels where there, there was a defamation suit multiple defamation suits of rupees 100 crores now understand for a defamation suit of rupees 100 crore you have to deposit around rupees 10 crore even to fight whether you win or lose or just to because a case has been filed that much amount of money needs to be deposited so by the both, both sides so if they are able to pay such huge amount of fines and still continue their dirty work imagine the kind of dirty money they have recently uh, i think the guy's name is uh, shilam reddy or which reddy so i don't want to mess up the name is a mining baron politician uh, his name, second name is reddy he was caught by with uh, some more than 300 crores rupees black money and a list of who all he was going to pay that black money and it had so many news reporters and uh, media barons in that list it shows how much deep these people are involved in black money and illicit um, money i'll give you another example there was a channel i'll not name it because i plan to do a separate video all together with the proper evidences they actually fictitiously took loan at a fictitious uh, interest rate at a lower interest rate than the normal thereby causing harm to the bank because they had some connection they at the cost of the econ- indian economy basically so and then another channel sun tv very famous they had hands in the 2g spectrum scam which is almost worth 2 lakh crore which is 2 trillion dollars and just last day i did the conversion around um 30 billion us dollars so they have like crazy amount of money black money 
they get by doing the act of prostitution which is spreading false news so any indian news channel see they are in an international survey all it was very clearly shown that indian news channels are the worst in the entire world in the entire on an entire planet earth maybe you put all the galaxies together the worst worst of the worst of the worst of the worst are indian prostitutes indian media they are the worst so if you have any uh, one more thing so this 5 million us dollars is around 30 crore rupees earlier uh, the false rape victim ha- was fined half a million dollar which is around rupees 3 crores and this vinay bharadwaj was also fined around half a million dollars which is again 3 crores almost 3 crores then again he was also fined in uh, in india in mysore uh, court around 2.75 crores if you put all of these together we are at around rupees 40 crore uh, worth legal victory we have achieved and only 68 crore more we need to win to have to reach a milestone of 108 crore rupees of legal victory and i can challenge you who's watching this video you don't know about any of these victories because the news channels are not going to tell you this of course why would they tell you they will tell you all the lies so if you have any special request you want to see any of these news channels go down to hell you can contribute by providing any uh, by providing volunteering and sharing any paid news they run and uh, doing simple things like transcribing and translation so do comment who is your favorite prostitute the worst of the worst of the worst and i'm very sure there is something planned by sada shiva for them also because swami ji told very clearly in this birth one of the evils or one of the demons is going to destroy is the indian prostitutes so uh, i am looking forward to your comments thank you for watching do read the original judgment in the description so that you know the facts and you are not just taking my words thank you for watching nityanandam